color watches again. This is my Yilang Tritium Dow automatic watch. Let's talk about Tritium a little bit. Uh, I wanted one of these just for the oddity, for the curiosity of having a Tritium Dow watch. Tritium comes in three levels, T25, T50, and T100. This watch is T100. It's supposed to be the strongest tritium there is. Tritium is technically a radioactive material. It is so minute, it can't even be detected. So if you're considering one of these, don't freak out. You're not gonna get cancer from this, from this watch. Although I think they put the, the mark on there. Tritium lasts 25 years, they say. Uh, it has a half, you know, after 12 and a half years, it's supposed to be a half-life. The thinking behind me buying the T100 is, okay, if after 12 and a half years, this T100 is only at a half strength, well, then it will be a T50 watch. I was a little disappointed in this. Tritium is not as bright as Loom. I have a picture that I'm going to pop in here. I took the night I got it. In really good darkness, it shows up. Uh, it didn't show up as well on camera as I hoped it would, but it does work. And if you do opt, oh, and I bought blue. And after I bought the watch and I was reading about tree and some more, blue is the worst color to buy. It's just blue shows up the least. I just liked the blue glow. Green is the best, orange being right in that orange slash red, right in, right in the, basically the same area. So I kind of wish I had opted for green because they, like I said, they said green is, green is pretty bright, but I've already bought it. So on this watch, let's talk about the first thing that I truly dislike about this watch. I don't like that Yiling badging on the top of the watch. Why couldn't they just put Yilang on there instead of this huge crest with wings on it. I think it takes up too much real estate, but I still like the watch. And these can get quite expensive. I paid $200 for this on AliExpress. I wanted the oddity, the uniqueness of a Tritium dial watch. So Yilang, never heard of them. Uh, there was Epoch, a couple other brands that were selling. But I wanted a Tritium dial that had all the markers on, you know, on the one, two, three, four, all the way around and on the hands. So this is a 14 marker Tritium dial watch. Uh, I was looking at some cheaper ones where I only have them at the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9, and then on the hands. And most of them were quartz. I wanted an automatic watch. But here's the one thing that I found out about Elang after I got it. Some of you will recognize the actual manufacturer of this watch. Deep Blue strictly makes divers, and they are, I mean, it's still a Chinese watch company, but they have a good reputation. So, and it came boxed really well. It actually had a gift bag and everything with it. I guess about right about here, I'll throw in the, because it, it's not even gonna, you're not even gonna notice if I kill the lights in this room, the tritium. It has to be fairly dark for it to kick up. I'll throw in uh, the shot I took of it at night. The night I got it, I put it here in the uh, in the in the spare bedroom where I keep my desk and stuff. And it lights up. But again, I wish I'd have went with green. I wish I'd have went with a brighter tritium tube watch, but. I didn't do as much homework as I probably should have. So let's go through the specifications on this watch. Let me zoom in a little more here. It does have a 120 click unidirectional bezel. It does have a screw down crown. It does hack, hand winds and hacks. Crown guard. 
exhibition case back. It's true. The band on this, it's okay. I tend to get a little disappointed when I see these press clasps. I mean, I might have to, because <laughs> I'm always complaining about these press clasps. I may have to get on Amazon or AliExpress and buy some mill class and start replacing these on my watches. The band itself is okay. It's nice and tight. It was a huge band. I have a seven and three quarter inch wrist and I had to take three links out of this watch. Uh, the Chinese must think we're all giants and have 10 inch wrists. That's the only thing I can, I can figure. But, okay. The one thing, it does have a sapphire crystal. I think for $200, this watch is okay. Like I said, the one thing that I truly dislike about it probably is the badging on the face of the watch. I think maybe if they just put their name, I think the shield with the wings and the star on top, I think it takes up a little bit more real estate than I would like. But other than that, the sunburst blue dial, like that. I like that the, you know, the bezel matches the watch. I think, I actually think this is a pretty good looking watch. I think the radioactive symbol wasn't completely necessary. But all in all, probably on a scale of one to 10, I might give this like a 7.5 or an eight. Good movement. It is an attractive watch, but Overall, the, the badging is a little overboard and a little gaudy, in my opinion. Oh, and this at the top, that's just a loom pip. I don't know what level, what kind of loom that is, but you'll see it in that photo. It's not a bad little watch. If, if you're looking for a tritium dial watch, like maybe some of you are, maybe some of you decide, hey, it's time for me to buy one of those. I would look into this brand, and the, again, the thing that shocked me, I didn't know Deep Blue made these, but that's where it came from. So, hey, that's it.